uh, they could be befuddled as to what our deck really is. I mean, the Cosmo is speaking a little bit to Destroyer. It could also be speaking to a Shuri deck of our own. Zero, just for the tie. You wanted to take it the margin of victory because you were so confident in what Red Skull could do? Destroyer's bigger, my friend. Welcome, my friends, back to Marvel Snap. Coming at you guys for today's deck guide with a fresh look from the Destroyer archetype and the name here, Destroyer of Metas. Really a tribute to the resiliency of the Destroyer card. He has led a solid deck in every single meta that we've seen here in the game and always championed free-to-play accessible decks that are infinite certified that can climb up against whatever the meta is throwing at them and this list is a no exception it can get the job done it can go the distance and here we are pairing the destroyer stat line with the good cards devil dinosaur shell and it does oh so well together because we have a number of different routes that will allow us to establish multiple 15 plus point bodies onto the board and we have the protection and the control to be able to handle whatever the opponents are throwing at us. Early on in the game, we're looking to be able to develop the Sunspot, Agent 13, and Cable as well. Because these cards are generating random cards, the earlier you play them, the more easily you're going to be able to understand if you can integrate the cards they're giving you into your game plan. So I like playing them down early. Establishing the armor as well is great. That's your, that's your safety haven that's the safe haven to protect a block of cards from a end game destroyer that's looking to be able to be your big finisher piece the cosmo also of course is a protection piece but he is a double-edged sword he is when you set him up you want him to uh, get followed up by the destroyer later on in the game usually but depending on the reading the matchup he can be solid control against the opponent as well so the better that you're able to understand what deck you're up against how to be able to read the opponent's plays, the better you're going to be able to do with Cosmo and holding him for a mid to late game play to be able to catch out what your opponent is trying to accomplish can actually be the correct move. We also have to play very carefully between Cosmo and Shang-Chi because we have this counter synergy. We don't actually want to give the opponent a haven of protection from our own Shang-Chi. We want to be able to leave that open so that he can rifle down a lane to be able to still knock over their big bodies. White Queen gives us scouting information of what the opponent has as a finisher, so she should be the piece that is informing you on how well you're able to snap or if you should be ready to retreat depending on what the opponent develops towards the very end of the game. Of course, she is also fulfilling the Devil Dinosaur. And then we get to all of our big finisher pieces. Of course, the Destroyer headlining the deck. Devil Dinosaur is solid here, being able to generate incredible stat lines we have the Taskmaster to be able to copy off of the Devil Dinosaur. He can copy off of the Destroyer if we're in a energy cheat scenario from some kind of location effect or some kind of reactionary play to the opponent's deck. And then the She-Hulk with the Sunspot is just so efficient for the good card archetype. Of course, she is here. And then the Iron Man doubling up the power. He actually plays very well here, able to elevate the lane that is not being serviced by the Destroyer, or if the opponent is, say, a Shuri, developing a very powerful tower card, the Iron Man could be something that still puts us over the top of a lane that they never expected us to be able to top, and that can give us the win. Jumping in here for our showcase, I'm loving our opening hand, though Atalan doesn't let me plan too far into the future. So we have the deck list up above. If you want to talk any card substitutions or deck optimization, would love to hear the chatter down in the comments. I read all of those and I love chatting everything. I snap with you guys down there. Do I want a cable now? It just gets Atalan pulled over and then developing the hand. It doesn't really matter for the Devil Dinosaur. I think I actually armor here, anticipating on the reshuffle. I have a good chance of stumbling into Destroyer. A Shuri deck. They're actually going to enjoy the armor positioning. Do have Shang-Chi. Okay, I'll set up Cable to be able to hold down a spot at the Mojo World. Always want to be able to gain additional pressure there. It can be fairly hard for Shuri to completely fill the location, though, with uh, modern Shuri. And with Storm here, they might not even be Shuri. I'm not sure now. I've been thrown for a loop on this one. If it is Shuri, catching the Shuri herself with Cosmo is devastating. Catching the Taskmaster copying their doubled card, equally devastating. Do I have the read as to where they're going to play Shuri? Not really. I don't know. We can guess and we can limit their options. 
Cosmo to the Mojo World? Or do I think they're just going to abandon the Mojo World? We're going to go Cosmo to Mojo World, and then we're going to throw Agent 13 down mid. Down left. Down left. They go two to the left, but two cards means it's not Shuri. At least not yet. Okay, redundancy in the armor. And I get a Misty Knight created who will be able to grab that buff from Washington. And then the Storm. What? What is the Storm doing? I feel everything else is telling me Shuri deck. Storm is not telling me Shuri deck. But, uh, could just be a unique adaptation. What do we like? I actually do like the Iron Man here. If they choose to go for a Red Skull, Iron Man can capitalize. Not nearly as well as he used to, but he still can capitalize. Yes. And then the, the Sunspot can grab up, gobble up a lot of extra energy, and we can just use placeholders at Mojo World to be able to win with the plus 100. Feels good to have that read. Ah, uh, yes. Is there any stopping us? And what is it that would be stopping us? I don't think you have. You only have three cards in hand. You can't top at Mojo World. Not if I play all my cards. And then with the two, it actually becomes four. And with the plus 100, no, I have to win on Atalan. So my, my question is, how much energy do I have to push over to the Sunspot? This would add 10 power. Meanwhile, if they say Taskmaster, the Taskmaster would be very problematic. All right, Shuri's still going to make it close. Oh, they didn't have it. They didn't have it. Shuri is tough. It's tough fighting up against the Shuri, but we've got tools to be able to handle her. In a moment of post-match clarity as I, I lose my destroyer, I'm going to take the card that I named the deck after and just do away with it, Sokovia. They lost an Odin. Ooh. Who's running Odin these days? Okay, anyway, for the previous match, in a moment of clarity, I felt like that list was probably the new form of Zero Red Skull Dracula Zoo with the Storm in there because you can Storm and then Dracula as a follow-up, which is a lot better tempo than Storm into a Shuri play. Maybe they have Shuri in there too, who knows? We didn't see it either way. We didn't see the Dracula or the Shuri to know one way or to other. We grabbed the Ironheart from them. It's an ongoing deck. It's just a straight up ongoing deck in the the season of our Lord Days of Future Past. But they lost the Odin. And here's Psylocke. Psylocke to be able to jump to what? Agent 13 gave me Kingpin. I'm going to rock it in with the She-Hulk. I could go straight to the Taskmaster. Or we could establish Devil Dino and then play White Queen to be able to fuel him up to additional heights. feel pretty good about that. Gaben, what are, what are you rocking? There is the Shuri. Ooh, I have heard of this, I believe. Mm. I think the goal with this deck of this flavor of Shuri is that you run magic to be able to get an Odin reactivation on Shuri. But how do we capitalize? I will. I'll play the Devil Dino. They have to be able to win both of these lanes on the left. The yellow, yes, it's the yellow jacket meme build. But Gambit too. No. That hurt, that hurt. Now we stole the Ironheart from them, which hopefully was the only way for them to be able to buff back this side. And then they did. They lost the Mystique and the Odin. They've not established the Wong. It's a bit of a meme list that they are rocking. We can... I don't know. Is Kiln enough? What else would they have that would... It would be like White Tiger? They could foreseeably have White Tiger to be able to jump across. And if you were to run White Tiger, would you play here? Or would you play here? I assume you would play here and fill this with a nothing. So I... We'll drop the Cosmo on left. Alongside, I don't know. I could play armor to be able to go up or if I'm anticipating the white tiger to tie. 
or I could play Ironheart to get the extra buffs. I'm gonna go, I mean, I, I made the read. Oh, you play Kingpin. Yeah, 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 you, you can keep Kingpin is better. He was, he's not normally in my deck list, created by the Agent 13. Here we go. We're smacking him, we're smacking him. Let's go ahead. Do I want to put a little pressure or do I not care if I get the rock? I probably don't care if I get the rock. Dream Dimension throws us off fairly significantly because it would mean that we cannot develop the Devil Dinosaur on 5 and thus it breaks up the Devil Dinosaur Taskmaster game plan. We don't really have a way to be able to uh, stop that from happening. So we'll see what comes around. With the light of Dream Dimension throwing off our turn 5 energy curve, I think we just play She-Hulk here now that she's become accessible. And gonna go ahead and play her straight up to the Dream Dimension. Zabu, so up against a Hawk list, up against a negative, negative Hawk list. I mean, if they're running the Korg, the Zabu, they're meshing the archetypes themselves. I always love the hybrid lists. I mean, you a negative? I've got Cable. I would love to be able to yoink whatever fantastic inverted card you have created, so let's do that. And then, Agent 13? Yeah, why not? Ooh, Cable coming through with the carry into the morph. All right. Heart of the cards, heart of the cards. Jubilee pulls a rock slide, but an inverted one. They flip first. Do we have a read on where we have to play, where we have to throw down? It's certainly Devil Dinosaur and Morph. That's gonna be the game. Um, we're ahead at Dream Dimension, sure. I'll get the... Mm. Where do I want the go-ahead? I like spreading the pressure here. Morph, they got five cards in hand, one card in deck. Because they were able to... Th they played negative. They thinned with Jubilee. I thinned because of Cable. No other draw effects. So they don't necessarily have additional cards in hand. I'm sure they have... The rocks or the the hawk to be able to capitalize on my <laughs> six card deck. Yeah, hawk is gonna be a be a chunky boy. Psylocke, there's the hawk. Mystique copies the hawk. Yeah, it's looking really good for them. Twelve power, thirteen morph into Thor, but I don't get any draw. <laughs> The one point on the eternity range. Oh man. Devil Dino Armor Destroyer Cable and Krakoa making his appearance is no longer the hot location of my time of recording this. Ooh, sure he's lab. Don't mind if I do. Get that destroyer doubled up to a, a sizable 30. I'll play cable. On turn five, how much can Krakoa screw us over? Yeah, it depends largely on our hand state. Looking at our hand right now, it looks like just Devil Dino is going to be coming out, so maybe we'll be fine. Let's go ahead. Cosmo the Lab. Hang tight. I'd like to play White Queen to be able to get additional card for Devil Dino. And then hope that that's the Krikoa play rather than uh, armor plus anything else. Into the Destroyer Doubling. And we should be golden. Golden. The Double She-Hulk. If I full pass, I'll have a two-cost She-Hulk, another two-cost She-Hulk, and then the two-cost armor. Maybe this is my time to pass and then let Krakoa just play what it wills and then finish with the, the destroyer play or something else, depending if something develops. It could be like drawing Shang-Chi as reactionary or anything else. We'll see. We'll see. But I like having the two very cheap She-Hulks now. Or Krakoa to, to drop some stuff to the board. Armor and a She-Hulk. Okay, fair enough. Armor everywhere. <laughs> and Krakoa stabs the Shuri in the back by saying, no, your Cosmo is double. I forgot how much uh, Krakoa screwed around with the Shuri decks. They really are devastated by this. Was She-Hulk last? I think she was, like my Taskmaster would be able to copy her. I believe so. But it's just Destroyer mid. 30 point Destroyer mid. 
We have a lead at Hala, down by two at Krakoa. We're not able to piecemeal cards in any way, shape, or fashion. But we are able to top whatever big body they want to play. Shuri runs big bodies. I think she wants to run it up the lab. And she knows that this came from Cable. It's their card. So eh, they could be befuddled as to what our deck really is. I mean, the Cosmo is speaking a little bit to Destroyer. It could also be speaking to a Shuri deck of our own. Zero, just for the tie. You wanted to take it the margin of victory because you were so confident in what Red Skull could do? Destroyer is bigger, my friend. So here is the deck in all of its budget-friendly meta-dominating glory. I love this list. The Devil Dinosaur Shell is just tried and true, and the power of the Destroyer is really impressive now, especially with the Red Skull getting toned down, as we saw in the final matchup, with the Destroyer able to get the doubling and then just top whatever Shuri was throwing at us. Very satisfying to be able to play, and a great deal of flexibility in the Iron Man, reactivity to different locations, and control between the Cosmo and the Shang-Chi protection as well. You got a little mix of everything brewed together in this hybrid list. If you guys pick this one up, I hope it owns you many cubes on your climb up to infinite. Till next time, thank you guys for watching. Keep on snapping.